Hello, this is Great Sonic, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. <laughs> and today, I will be talking about how to make a phone or creating a phone in Blender, the mobile phone in Blender. So, before I continue, uh, I'm now organizing on my tutorials from now on into series. Like now, this is the 3D Cube series. So you know it's all about 3D Cube. I have 3D, so you know what the series consists of. And uh, we, with that said, let's get started. Sorry for using an old version of Blender. I'm using Blender 2.76 because of some specific reasons, but you'll still be able to catch up even if you are using the latest version 2.79 in and with 2.8 should be coming soon. But with that, let's get started. So first we go to uh cycles render and let's zoom in on this before we do anything yep let's zoom in on this zoom 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 a little bit more and perfect we scale this on the z axis uh before i continue i will increase the length to 80 just so i will not get any distortion or whatsoever so with that done, uh -huh, looking better. We scale on the hex axis. Oh uh, yeah. Just controlling the thickness. Depend on what type of thickness you want. I think this is good for me. And uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, yep. Let me see. Scaling on the y axis. No. The breadth is good for enough for me. So with that said, we go to. Um, the modifier tab and we select bevel after we do that we increase the segment to 6 and uh, increase the width by 0.14 and that should do it look yeah we are having some like mobile phone here so we press shift A add a plane rotate on the y axis to 90 uh, after that, we move it, S then we scale it, scale it on the x axis, good, move it back a little bit, uh, just close enough to the surface of the cube so it looks like a flat surface, so it plane looks like a flat surface on it, so move it up a little bit. Scale it on the y axis, controlling that. Good. Uh, let's see that. Scale it on the x, no, z, sorry. Move it down a little bit on the z axis. And it seems like we have something like foam. Scale it on the y. See the position is it flat enough. Make sure the plane is flat on the cube. Make sure, please make sure. After that, we well, we don't make our phone, it's just as simple as that. Add a cube, bevel, and a plane, all that. But now we're gonna make the material. I'll give it a quick tip on making materials for the phone, make it look realistic. Um, so. Um, I open the new windows here and I'll go to the node editor right here if you are not familiar with node editor you don't need to do all this you can also go to this material tab here and press, click on new but going to node editor is simpler and easier for anybody to understand so I'll zoom on this a little bit and I'll still zoom on it zoom in Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, a little bit too close. Oh my god, nope. Uh, so, I'm going to add, first of all, do one thing get rid of the diffuse shader and add, well, an add shader. Connect this to my surface and the material put extend it a little bit. 
the Atutens, the glass shader, and the refraction shader. What the diffraction should I do? It makes it mainly lets light to pass through your objects, like glass and and like glass, like how glass pass through uh, an object. Uh, like I mean, like how light pass through glass. So that's what diffraction does. Make makes your light your light rays to refract refract through an object. Um, so after that. You don't need to change the color, leave the color for now. Now add a mix shader and put the mix shader in between your material output and the add shader. After that, add the uh, the glossy glossy shader. After you add that, link it to your mix shader. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, make sure you look. come here. Look at the preview. It looks kind of good but we change the roughness to about uh say hold on 0 0.2 0 0.2 change the roughness yeah the roughness here is good we don't need to mess with the refraction shader does change the color does depend a little bit depend on your taste Dipping it a little bit, then we're done with the shader half the um, screen. Then we click on we click on our phone. After I click on our phone, we um, make a material. Make sure I click on the use node there, and uh, we are going to get rid of the diffuse. The diffuse is completely used. There's somehow in this tutorial, sorry, diffuse. And go to add and an isotropic shader. I'm not going to say all the BSDF, I just did ignore that. And you're going to clip it to your material output. With that, we change the color depending on what your taste. I really seriously love the black color, not because I'm black skin, but black doesn't get that easily. So we change it and uh, the anistropy, we increase it to one. Nope, so bad. Increase it, decrease it. Hold oh, down uh, to 0 0.1. That's what it gives us. That's what it gives us. 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. Let's see. Good. That's what I was looking for. We decrease our anisotropy to, anisotropy to 0 0.2 with our color like that. And let's see what it looks like when we open it in the render. Oh, the light render looks good, looks very good, looks very nice. Why you're not seeing the beauty of this is uh, because of no light is currently reflected on it, so we all need light to add some beauty in our life. So, one thing first is I'm gonna get rid of this lamp and add. Give sphere. After that, I move it to up a little bit. Make sure it's out of the camera view. I'm going to use that as my emission for light. Change this to emission, uh, and I'm going to change the color to a little bit of yellow. Just light yellow, and increase the emission to. Not too bright, not too bright. That's the emission of 25. 25 should be good. And let's see how it look like. So we see something reflecting. I'm going to increase the emission to 60. Let's see how it look now. Yeah. You see his glossiness. Well, the sample is quite low and you can't see much, but give me some time. I'm going to render this and it's going to look perfect. Alright, so before I render this, uh, I've got to say you can add some, uh, how can I say, 
value or beauty to this like you can have a button in the middle by going to uh, knob curves choosing the knob circle and uh, just rotating it on the Y to 90 decrease the size and uh, make sure it drag to the phone this one I'm trying to do here um, put it on autographic put down a little bit and change to perspective now with that I'm gonna go to the ge geometry panel increase the extrude and depth that is all we need. Increase a little bit. See what I'm trying to do. Add a button. I'm trying to add a button. So. And. Scale it down a little bit. So try and place it that in the middle. And after that. You just add uh, a an anisotropic BSDF and increase the roughness to some point, and that is hot. You can add some buttons at the side, wherever I choose to. And now, after this, I'll render the image finally for you to see how it look like. So stay tuned. Um, okay, guys. So. This is the final rendered image. You see, it looks good. It has that gradient you have when light is reflecting on the screen, and it's kind of glossy. What I would expect from a phone. Um, so I put that curve, that circle, just to add more beauty to it. Of course, you can change this if you want. You can put whatever you want, but you understand the concept of making a phone, which is what this tutorial is for. And also, this is also an example of what you can do. You see, in this scene, you see, is a scene I made in Blender, of course. A blue scene, a blue room with a phone and a tablet, a table, and a book. Everything was made by me and modeled by me. Why some plugin used, but that was the uh, But you get the idea, the light, the everything. So you see the beauty, and I added some buttons at the side for volume up and volume down and all that you just depend on you what you want and how you want it so that's it guys i hope you learned something and if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe to my channel you will really glad in my hands and if you want to support me financially you can go to my patreon page the link will be in the description and also to my website which will be also in the description my Patreon page is patreon.com slash greatonic. You can donate or support me per month, which will really help me and gladly me. Thank guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.